And Focus started in 1991, so a long time before my time, uh, basically. And throughout the years, um, we've always focused on the graphic arts, we've always focused on commercial printers and publishers, on the problems that they were facing. And if you look uh, back uh, 20 years ago and, and now, uh, many of the problems that they were experiencing then are still the problems that they were experiencing today, which is basically why we are still alive as well. We are a technology supplier, right? So we develop software, uh, we bring software to the market. Um, for us, it's about working smarter, not working harder. So we, we tell the customers that, of course, through automation, through the use of our software solutions, you can reduce cost, but you can also increase productivity and you can increase the quality and hence um, a differentiating component that you have versus the competition. I'm responsible for different regions. Yeah, so I'm responsible for um, Benelux, France and the Nordics regions. Um, and well, I'm commercially responsible, meaning that my goal is to make sure that Unfocus business is going well in those regions. It goes pretty well, that's, that's the good thing. And that's mainly because yeah, we, uh, we have a good channel and good products. So we have a perfect uh, match for the market we're serving. And we have very knowledgeable um, channel partners. We drive the market ourselves as well, right? We're in close collaboration with the Gen PDF workgroup, so we always keep our finger uh, to the pulse there as well. So it's, it's, I would say it's a mix. It's a mix of industry trends, it's a mix of talking to industry specialists, it's a mix of talking to customers. Our channel partners as well have a very important voice because they're in touch with, uh, with the customers on a daily basis. And obviously we have a lot of uh, PDF-related uh, and automation-related expertise in-house. And so those people constantly think um, about new ways to, to help our customers as well. What they want now is uh, more automation. That's still a very hot uh, topic. It's still uh, at the top of their mind. They also want open products because they typically don't want to reinvest in things they've invested in before. So we don't want them to uh, move away from their MIS system or from their RIP or whatever. We just want to leave everything at, uh, at place and then we just connect it with our software. That's the way we go about it. Openness is, uh, is really important to us. It's not only on the products but also in the company. It's something we, we value a lot. Obviously, people who enjoy technology like to be at the forefront of technical evolutions. De facto, they will like to work here because we always try to be one step ahead and basically not develop something that customers wanted six months ago, but something that customers may want uh, six months from now. And that makes it interesting to work here. We have uh, people who come, uh, if I think of our engineers, we have engineers that come from the gaming industry, we have engineers who come from the graphic arts, uh, engineers who have no affinity whatsoever with the graphic arts, so it's a, it's a nice uh, mix of skills. Um, but uh, the common denominator is the interest of, uh, uh, towards technology and interest of, of uh, providing uh, high quality work, basically. great to work here. We try to have a, a lot of fun. Yeah, we try. We try to uh, have fun while working since, uh, you know, all of us, we spent quite a lot of hours here. So why not try to make it pleasant uh, as well? We're not a huge company. Uh, we're, we're 50 people, but still serving uh, over 100,000 customers. And think of working in a small companies, it's, it's also a young con company. It's very dynamic to work here. So um, yeah, a lot of, a lot of challenge and a lot of fun. We're very serious because, uh, yeah, business is a serious thing. And, and basically, with our solutions, uh, a lot of people depend on it uh, to make their own bread and butter, to generate revenue for their own companies, so to feed their own families. So yes, it, it is important. So what we, what we do, we try to do well. I wouldn't say that Switch is necessarily complex, but it's so versatile that uh, we often guide customers and we have, to, we have to accompany them in their journey, showing them step by step what you can do with Switch, uh, starting with very easy automation, uh, not automate your entire pre-press. And then as they play with it or as they familiarize themselves with the product, they can see the value of the product and, and build more and more. 
On the one hand, we will always play a role in the graphic arts uh, because that's uh, part of our DNA. Uh, but on the other hand, um, and it's also driven externally, we've been surprised by the way some of our customers are using uh, Switch especially uh, for automation purposes. And we found out that a number of uh, these customers have uh, nothing to do with the graphic cards. Uh, banks are using Switch, insurance companies, uh, advertising agencies. We are using Switch in-house as well. Uh, we have been working hard on a new uh, order fulfillment process in which uh, Switch plays a, a crucial role. And we have developed uh, Switch to such an extent that we feel we have a commercially viable product for uh, companies that um, have a lot of financial transactions to do. So it's something that we're looking at to see if uh, we could play a role there as well. So indeed, we're, we are branching out slowly but surely into uh, new verticals. But overall, automation is, is really key uh, for us. In the future, you will see that the new technologies or new products that Enfocus will develop uh, will most likely work within the Switch ecosystem. Um, Switch is really the foundation on which we will continue to build in the future.